So which structure allows current to flow well? Does the structure of a cube or cuboid flow better? The type of structure that allows current to flow well depends on the type of material. In general, the type of crystal structure affects the flow of current. Metal structure. Metals are generally known as conductors that allow current to flow very well. The crystal structure of metals is typically a close-packed structure, cubic or non-cubic. The metal atoms are arranged in a regular pattern within the crystal structure, and this arrangement provides a path for electrons to move freely under the influence of an electric field. As a result, metals are excellent electrical conductors. Semiconductor structure Semiconductors are materials in which the flow of current is more limited than in metals. The semiconductor structure is typically a diamond structure, cubic. The movement of electrons within semiconductors is relatively limited, and electron movement is controlled by the electronic energy band structure. Semiconductors can control their electrical conductivity in response to external temperature or energy input. Insulator structure Insulators are materials in which the flow of current is very limited, with almost no movement of electrons. The insulator structure typically represents the case where the electron energy band in a solid is filled. Insulators can be considered to be electrically non-conductive, and they remain in a state with almost no electron movement in response to external conditions. Therefore, the type of structure plays an important role in the flow of current. Metals have excellent electrical conductivity due to the high free mobility of electrons caused by their cubic or non-cubic structure. However, semiconductors and insulators have more limited electron mobility, and their electrical conductivity is lower than that of metals. The type of structure that allows current to flow well is the one that provides a path for electrons to move freely. In the case of metals, the cubic or non-cubic structure provides a regular pattern for electrons to move through. In the case of semiconductors, the diamond structure also provides a path for electrons to move through, but it is more limited than in metals. In the case of insulators, the electron energy band is filled, so there is no path for electrons to move. 